today on the bridge of the USS Enterprise on this very special day of your life. It's the 10th day of February 2003 to celebrate the joining of Arthur Lloyd Malin and Patricia Ann Green into the bonds and unity of marriage. And this is a time that you will never forget. A time that is one of the most precious moments in your life when your two lives merge together as one. And the time that I know you'll be looking back on someday and saying to each other, do you remember when we were married on the USS Enterprise? We had a wonderful time with our friends. Marriage is a very meaningful word. It's meaningful because it means the end of your search for that special person that you have looked forward to to complete your life. And marriage also speaks to us about the fulfillment that we have found with each other and the love that we're giving to each other. Marriage will have its good times and happy times, and of course it will have a few challenging times along the way, but during those times your love for each other and your commitment to your marriage and to your family will be a source of inspiration to help you through the difficult times. It is our hope that you have a wonderful marriage and that you find peace and prosperity on the road of life that you have chosen to travel together. And may all of your dreams come true. With this in mind, Art, do you take Patty to be your lawfully wedded wife? Oh, I do. And Patty, do you take Art to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then I ask that together and to each other, you repeat these vows after me. For better or for worse, for better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To honor and to respect. To honor and to respect. From this day forward. From this day forward. And already, you'll place the ring on Patty's ring finger at this time. You'll place the ring on Art's ring finger. <laughs> and as you, as you hold your ring hands together, you would again together to each other repeat after me, as a token of my faith. As a token of my faith. In your love for me. In your love for me. And as a sign. And as a sign. Of my love for you. My love for you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it in peace and love always. Wear it in peace and love always. Art and Patty, remember that as you wear these rings, they are visible symbols of the love that you're giving to each other. Being round in circumference reminds us that our love for each other is to be without end. And being of precious metal reminds us of the preciousness of our love that we place in each other's trust. You're being married here on the bridge at the USS Enterprise and I'm sure you have plans now to celebrate this wonderful and happy occasion with your friends, your wedding day. And then Art, you and Patty will wake up tomorrow, husband and wife, facing all of the challenges that life has to offer married couples. As you face the vicissitudes of life, be very protective of your love for each other and not only protect your love, but cultivate your love and let it grow and endure in all that you do together. Once again now, together and to each other, if you will repeat, these final vows. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. I join my life with yours. I join my life with yours. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. And all of my love. And all of my love. I truly and freely give to you. I truly and freely give to you. Art and Patty, you have both agreed to become husband and wife each agreeing to be married to each other by the giving of these rings and the intent of these vows expressed here in the company of these witnesses. Therefore, by the powers vested in me by the state of Nevada and this captain of the USS Enterprise, I pronounce you and present you as husband and wife. Come on, one moment. I think these two warriors deserve a bit more. These Federation vows are fine, but I have brought something that was read at my wedding. Will you accept this? Yes. With fire and steel, steel did the gods form the Klingon heart. 
So fiercely did it beat, so loud was the sound that the Klingon gods cried out, On this day we have brought forth the strongest heart in all the heavens. No one can stand before it without trembling at its strength. But then the Klingon heart weakened, its steady rhythm faltered. And the Klingon gods asked, Why have you weakened so? We have made you the strongest in all creation. And the heart said, I am alone. And the Klingon god knew that they had erred. So they went back to their forge and brought forth a second heart. But the first heart was violently jealous of the second heart's power. Fortunately, the second heart was tempered with wisdom. And if we join together, he said, no force can stop us. And then the two hearts began to beat together. The beating hearts filled the heavens with a terrible sound. For the first time, the gods were feared. They tried to flee, but it was too late. The Klingon hearts destroyed the gods who created them and turned the heavens to ashes. And to this day, no one can impose the beating of two Klingon hearts. The plot, success to you both, and have long life. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Mr. and Mrs. Art Maylach.